So you want to win an NCAA championship. Some think it's easy, and on paper, maybe it is. Just win the next six games in a row, and you've reached your goal. But as Dickie B is going to tell you, these are the toughest six games to play. And you'll see that in today's game between the NC State Wolfpack and the Army Black Knights. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Black Knights are sure of a tough battle tonight, Dick. What's uh, the key for them to succeed? Here's what I think, Brad. First of all, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Second, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. Lastly, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Perfectly executed. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the dribble, gives it up in the paint. Looking for the foul. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They look to get it to the inside. Number 33 fakes the shot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Number 40, the shot drops and the foul. Great concentration on the shot, Brad. <laughs> With the free one. Terrible free throw. Tough offensive, uh, defensive rebound. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Number 45 with the ball. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Block shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Up fake. Time to pick up the defense here now. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Trying to feed inside for two. That's good. The small forward gets the pass. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. The shooting guard takes the feed. Number 33 is emotionally pumped up. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits the first shot. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Trying to go inside. Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got him in the face-up position in the post. And he missed. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. A high screen. Trying to draw the foul. He used the screen perfectly to put in the inside hoop. And 
that and momentary look from three-point land. Put that screen away. He shoots from right of the circle. Way off target. Dumps it in. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. On the outside, the offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block. Great shot block right there. Had some good movement on the offensive side. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Number 50 gets the ball. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. That's basic. The small forward takes the pass. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Three seconds in the lane. He's not moving, Brad. Looking for a good shot. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Good fake. And he'll kick it back outside. With the fake, sets the screen for his teammate. Scorches the net. Pushing that basketball. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Can't get the shot to drop. Moving it around the perimeter. The frustration right there. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And then what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. He got the dunk and the foul. He went through that lane on a mission, Brad. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Number 32 picks up the foul. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Chance for two. Got it from the free throw line. Misses the second. And the free throw woes continue. This is embarrassing display of free throw shooting, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. He fakes the shot. Got the shot if he wants it. He throws it up from downtown. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. Oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. They work the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Oh, 
momentary look from three-point land. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. They move it into the front court. I tell you, a terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Here's the three ball. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. From left of the circle, he gets the bucket. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm trying to three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. He shoots from the top of the circle. He drains it. Up and inside. Looking for a good shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call by the official. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. Thanks, Aaron. On the outside. Looks at the hoop. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. NC State are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they're starting to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. The fake. He puts up the three ball, way off target. Both teams are looking to get something going here. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. And they get the turnover. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Doesn't go. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. From three-point range, he grabs the rebound. Gets it back out. They work it around the perimeter. And they come with a double team to stop it. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all.
With anticipation defensively. Number 45 makes a great move to draw the foul. He is going to the line. He misses his first shot. Misses both of them. Now the rebound. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Up and inside. He's open if he wants the shot. Turns it over. Gave it up. Here's a double team. Got a nice screen. Number four is pounded on his way up. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Number four steps to the charity strike. Cashed it in. NC State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. Nice low post play. Good entry to the box. it up he goes for three it's good looking for a good shot they'll work it around the arc high post screen gonna use it the ball was tipped loose but the offense retains possession Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Oh, a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. Number one gets his first sweat of the night. Hey, it's important that this kid gets into the offensive action right away, Brad. He's got to make an instant impact. He went for the steal in the post, and he, he blocks the shot. the pass in the paint for the bucket and off the mark. Had him in the paint but went elsewhere. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Fronts in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the outside, tries a three. He's taking too many unnecessary shots, Dick. And he's costing his team their rhythm. Three. Hey, kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Jump hook from the low block. He's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. Picks off the pass.
for two. And in and out. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They work the perimeter. Goes up for two. The Wolf Pack to find a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Daddy's on fire. Gave it up. Steals the pass. Unloads a three. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. That spin move's not going to work. It's swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The ball goes out of bounds. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Here's a flash from the post up high. Unloads. Way off target. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Puts it up. Off the rim and no good. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Up and inside. Entry pass in the paint. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They work it around the perimeter. From beyond the arc, he drains the shot. Moving it around the perimeter. Shoots way off target. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. <laughs> On the outside. Tries for two. The Wolfpacks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Shot clock is dead. And now there's a whistle and a foul. With the free throw. It goes in. Gets two at the charity strike. Throws up the prayer. Off the rim and no good. At the half, the Black Knights trail by nine. 
You missed the play of the half. Here's another look. Heads into the locker room after just a horrible half of shooting from the field. I mean, you're being kind. I don't even consider that shooting. I call that throwing up bricks, man, in prayers and hoping they would fall. Terrible shooting by this ball club. I cannot believe it. You can't win shooting like that. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I can hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. He tries a jump hook. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. With a bucket, rims out. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Working it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. He gets the rejection. And the ball goes out of play. Got a man in high post. Ten on the shot clock. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Looking to move it around the perimeter. The crowd loves this young man. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. With a deep shot from outside. Off the rim and no good. NC State have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Tries for two. In and out. The shooting guard receives the ball way off target. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. The Wolf Packs have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Yep, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artez just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Gave it up. He attempts the trifecta. You betcha. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Look at that spacing. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy got inside, though. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Side. And he'll 
will kick it back outside. For two, they still don't score. Turnaround jumper. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. They're working around the perimeter. Double team now. Bad angle. The point guard handles the pass. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Up and inside. Tries for two. NC State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. They work it around the perimeter. From the top of the circle, he nails the long-range bomb. Intercepted. Kicks it out. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Hey, if it wasn't for his play, that'd be in big trouble, Brad. Someone else needs to step up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He pump fakes on the inside for two, and he scores despite the hack. That's an eight-zip run. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Power forward handles the feed. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. Ferries at home. The Black Knights are trailing by six. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He's absolutely unconscious. Obvious foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Nice fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Takes the pass in the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Gave it up. the ball. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. And the ball goes out of bounds. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Fake. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. They'll work it around the arc. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. That's a great response by this crowd. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad.
Looking for a good shot. He takes the shot. Rims out. Picks off the lazy pass. He goes for the trifecta. He makes the shot. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he was trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Army are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they will keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guys. He shoots. Got it. That's a 9 nothing run. There's a double team waiting there. He fires from long range. Knocks it down. Now they work it around the perimeter. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Fakes it. They work the perimeter from way outside. Hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Number 44 with the foul. First team foul. He's got a high post flasher. Coming inside. The small forward receives the pass for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big-time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. For the bucket. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. In the paint. For two. Up. Easy one. the dribble gives it up they go inside and now back outside I tell you inside outside action always works up and inside he goes for three off the rim and no good Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Steal. And 
And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. The Wolf Packs have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Tries for two. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. The ball goes out of play. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. They're working around the arc. He shoots from the top of the key. Rims out. There's the trap. Steals the ball. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Army is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Gave it up. Great defense. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. And he'll kick it back outside. Fake. There's the screen up on top. For two. The Wolf Pack to find a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Here's a double team. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. The Black Knights are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Perfectly executed. Hey, one basket, Brad. If they can get some points here, the crowd will be extremely happy. And now they'll bring it up. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Green was there, but the shot didn't fall. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He bombs from outside. Army have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. He fires from long range. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Picked off. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside, outside action always works. It won't fall. Dribble gives it up. Number 31 is called for the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. 
Number 34 walking back out onto the floor. He needs to get himself warm playing defense first before he starts to think about offense. Misses the second shot. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Nick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. Defense taking away any open looks. Number 32 is whistled for the foul. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brown, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession and their timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. He lets it fly. How about an instant replay? Gave it up. Takes away the pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Takes the pass in the paint. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Let them give him a try, Brian. If only my knees weren't aching. Timeout. They want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. All right, thanks, Aaron. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. He throws it up from downtown. He couldn't get it to fall. Look at that spacing. In the paint for the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. T.O. Cole. Hey, we got a barn burner here, baby. I'm thinking last second shot for the win, Mr. Nestler. Something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. Cross court. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. The more possessions you create, the better your chances. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. At the foul line. Misses the front end of the one and one. Pushes it. For the bucket. And off the mark. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. I tell you what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Hit 
hits the second shot. Give yourself a chance for the score here. back into action here. A five-point lead could go either way with this much time, Brad. Oh, it certainly can, Dick. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Dump it inside. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. NC State opened the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves enter in the second round. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.